What up, everybody? Just got back from seeing Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And this is going to be a spoiler-free review because the movie just came out. Um, I do plan on seeing it again tomorrow because there is some stuff I missed. Um, and probably on Sunday, I'll drop a review spoiler talk and then we can talk all about the movie there. Um, this is just some quick thoughts about the movie. What did I think? I think it was perfect. Um, there's not probably anything from this movie I would change. This movie was everything as it was advertised. And I think the story here is one of, if not the best, Spider-Man story. Um, I love... The original Spider-Man story, so obviously with Tobey Maguire. But this, they did something different, which I'm not going to explain. Um, they did something completely different that was a huge risk. And it might not work for some people. But for me, um, I got the perfect, perfect villain. Which I wanted more of in this movie. We got the perfect cast of characters. Um, we got the perfect soundtrack. The score in this movie is nerve-wracking. For a Spider-Man animated movie, I was really, really curious before I saw the movie uh, to see how dark and emotional side they would go. I love the first one. Um, I, I do feel, feel like it could have used a bit more emotion because that's what makes Spider-Man so appealing. But this one just knocked it out of the park for me it gave me everything i wanted from a spider-man movie emotionally action wise everything um i was sad when the movie ended i was really sad because i was having such a blast but um this is a two-part movie and i didn't not i think i knew a while ago when i think i kind of forgot because I did read something online, but I didn't know if it was real. So we were watching the movie, and then my buddy... Like, I was sitting there, and I was like, okay, um, it's a two and a half, ah, two and a half hour movie. We're two hours and 15 minutes in. There's only 15 minutes left. Uh, how the fuck are we going to cram all of this together to make a satisfying conclusion? And it was funny, as I was thinking that to myself, my buddy turned around, and he's like... I think he's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a two-part movie. And I was like, okay. And I got a bit of relief after that um, because I was a bit worried. And I didn't want to keep being worried through the third act. I kind of relaxed after that. <laughs> Sounds kind of stupid. But it leaves off so much potential for this next movie. And who knows, man? Um, this next movie could be... Um, you know, not that good, or it could be better than this one, but this is a lot of setup, and it, it just works. It, it works perfectly. Um, all the characters bounce off each other really good, and for the, like, the most important, important aspect of this movie to me was the emotion moments, and how well they were handled, and how many scenes there were of just letting the characters breathe and get everything out. It was so well done. There was one scene in particular I almost cried, but I held back my tears. Um, 10 out of 10 movie for me. I can't wait to watch it again. In my spoiler review, I will talk about one specific part of this movie that I missed. I didn't get up and go to the washroom. I didn't leave my seat. I sat there the whole two hour, a half hours. I didn't move. I was sucked in. But... There was so much stuff to look at on the screen. And there was something in the left top corner that all of my friends saw. And I was so stuck on something else on the other side of the screen. And I'll talk about what that is in my spoiler review. Um, just a great Spider-Man movie. Like I said, character-wise, this is some of the best work I have ever seen. And this is going to be an awesome year, guys. We've been getting spoiled with Spider-Man. Uh, Tom Holland's MCU Spider-Man. I got Spider-Man PS4, Miles Morales PS4, 
and then we had Into the Spider-Verse, and then we had No Way Home, Far From Home, Homecoming. I don't know why I said those in reverse. And then, uh, we, like, we're getting the new Spider-Man game this fall. Like, it's just been insane. And I'm not burnt out on, on superhero movies a little bit. But in Spider-Man movies in general, I don't get tired of it at all. I can see Aunt May die a million times. I still get emotional because that is a character I grew up with. And I don't know how they're going to handle this next movie. But I really hope they take the time. I don't know if there's a release date. But please take the time. Make sure it's the best. Because from these past two movies, Sony has just showed how capable they are of making a great movie and i'm not saying they're bad i personally love venom they're stupid fucking movies do they do the venom character justice yes and no they could have done a bit better especially making it rated r i know a lot of people hated morbius that's also sony i personally i don't know if i love it love it love it but i do have a special place in my heart for it i really enjoy it so seeing Sony being capable of making such great handmade movies, hopefully they can start making a good, you know, live action movie, whatever comes next. Um, I know there was a Sony verse was about to start at some point, um, but like I don't know, like they had the Vulture and Morbius in the post credit scene, and then nothing's ever happened since. I have no idea what the fuck's going on with that. So my spoiler review will be dropping on Sunday. Thank you so much, everyone, at watching. I appreciate it. Take care.